What about this, though? Fruits and vegetables have little effect? Eating veggies doesn't stop cancer? Here's the study they're talking about, fruit and vegetable intake, and overall cancer risk in the EPIC study. Here's the data. For those unfamiliar with the metric system, a large apple officially weighs 223 grams. So uh, compared to people eating about less than an apple a day, those eating one or more had a 5% decrease in overall cancer risk across the board. And those who ate the most fruits and vegetables had 11% lower risk. Here's the conclusion. The study supports the notion of a modest cancer preventive effect of high intake of fruits and vegetables. But what about those headlines? They made it sound like fruits and veggies didn't offer any protection. It's not that fruits and vegetables didn't prevent cancer in the study, it's just how modest the preventive effect was. The bottom line is we can't you know, eat a standard Western diet and just add a few fruits and vegetables and expect to be cancer-proof. We have to fundamentally change our diets. Still, I mean, even if we're living off burgers and donuts, a 5% drop in overall cancer risk means that an apple a day may keep 1 in 20 cancers away. That's not too bad. I mean, how much does an apple cost? 1.5 million Americans are diagnosed with cancer every year. This study suggests that if we all ate lots of fruits and vegetables, 168,000 cancers could be prevented every year in the United States. 168,000 cancers. If that's modest, I'll take it. And they were you know, counting like iceberg lettuce as a vegetable. I mean, it would have been interesting to see what some of the more powerful fruits and vegetables could do. You know, berries, citrus, uh, garlic, greens. Right? And of course, there's lots of other health reasons to eat fruits and vegetables besides just cancer.